A new open source application simplifies animal behavior studies by leveraging the power of artificial intelligence. A team from the University of Michigan has created a new software tool to help researchers in the life sciences evaluate animal behavior more efficiently. LabGym, an open source software, uses artificial intelligence to discover, categorize, and measure prescribed actions across multiple animal model systems. Scientists need to evaluate animal behaviors for a variety of reasons, ranging from knowing how specific medicine may influence an organism to mapping how circuits in the brain communicate to produce a specific behavior. Researchers in the lab of UM faculty member Bing Yi, for example, use Drosophila melanogaster fruit flies, as a model to investigate the development and functioning of the nervous system. Because fruit flies and humans share many genes, these studies of fruit flies often offer insights into human health and disease. Behavior is a brain function. Analyzing animal behavior provides essential information about how the brain works and how it changes in response to disease, said Yujia Hu, a neuroscientist in Yi's lab at the University of Michigan Life Sciences Institute and lead author of a Cell Reports Methods report detailing the new program published on February 24. However, Manually recognizing and counting animal actions is time-consuming and highly subjective to the researcher assessing the behavior. While there are a few software systems that can automatically quantify animal actions, they are difficult to use. Many of these behavior analysis programs are based on preset definitions of a behavior, said Yi, a cell and developmental biology professor at the medical school. Some programs will count a roll if a Drosophila larva rolls 360 degrees, for example. But why isn't 270 degrees also considered a roll? Many programs lack the flexibility to count unless the user knows how to record the program. Consider yourself more of a scientist. To address these issues, Hu and his colleagues decided to create a new program that more closely mimics the human cognitive process that thinks, more as a scientist would, while still being more user-friendly for biologists who may lack coding knowledge. Researchers can use LabGym to input examples of the behavior they want to evaluate and teach the software what to count. Deep learning is then used by the computer to improve its capacity to recognize and quantify the behavior. The use of both video data and a so-called pattern image to increase the program's reliability is one new feature in LabGym that allows it to use this more flexible cognition. Scientists utilize recordings of animals to study their behavior, but movies contain time series data that AI programs may struggle with. Who generated a still image that displays the pattern of the animal's movement by integrating outlines of the animal's position at multiple time points to assist the computer recognize actions more quickly. The researchers discovered that integrating video data with pattern images improved the program's accuracy in distinguishing different forms of behavior. Lab Gym is also meant to ignore unnecessary background information and focus on the animal's general movement as well as changes in location over space and time, just like a human researcher would. The application can also track many animals at the same time. Species adaptability boosts utility. According to Yi, another major property of Lab Gym is its species versatility. While it was built with Drosophila in mind, it is not limited to that species. That's actually quite rare, he stated. It's written for biologists, so they can adapt it to the species and behavior they want to study without needing any programming skills or high-powered computing. Kerry Ferrario, a UM pharmacologist, offered to help Yi and his colleagues test and modify the program after seeing a presentation about its early development. Ferrario, an associate professor of pharmacology and adjunct associate professor of psychology, uses rats as a model system to study the brain pathways that contribute to addiction and obesity. She and her lab members have had to rely on subjective and time-consuming hand scoring to accomplish the necessary observation of drug-induced behavior in the animals. I've been trying to solve this problem since graduate school, and the technology just wasn't there in terms of artificial intelligence, deep learning, and computation. Not only did this program solve an existing problem for me, 
but it also has a very broad utility. I see it having practically endless possibilities for application in analyzing animal behavior. The team intends to develop the program further in order to increase its performance under even more difficult settings, such as observing animals in the wild. The National Institutes of Health provided funding for this study. The study's authors, in addition to Yi, Hu, and Ferrario, are Alexander Maitland, Rita Ionides, Anjesh Gamir, Brendan Watson, Kanichi Iwasaki, Hope White, and Yi Tao Shi of the University of Michigan and Jia Zhou of Northern Illinois University. If AI interests you, sign up for free at www.coolzone.ai to be a part of Unpassive the next global technology behemoth.